Hey, it's Thursday! Hi! It means you got me, Jamie, on the trans tubers, and also an Ali, because Ali is at my house, so it made sense that we filmed. Well, Ali appeared. <laughs> well, Ali appeared. <laughs> Ali uses puffer fish. The theme for this, the theme for this week, how the trans is viewed in the media and the general public. I decided to suggest this after Ali and I read an article on the BBC about um how trans people are kind of used as a cheap joke as well. I will post a link to the article below because Jacoby mentioned it yesterday, so I'll post a link to you. Um, how kind of famous comedians such as this is short. <laughs> <laughs> um, comedians such as like uh, Jonathan Ross, who had now apologised, would use a joke like, "Oh, it looks like a woman. Oh, they're so manly. They're almost oh." Yeah, and, yeah that kind of stuff. <laughs> and, we're just, and we're all just like, <laughs> not funny. Um, so that's the thing that we're talking about this week. Um, we're also talking about how it leads to kind of uh, general public opinions on the media as well. Um, I'm going to start off by saying that it's not all native in the media. Kerrang, which I can't find the copy of the specific issue that I bought, but it had a giant Ollie Sykes poster in, which is kind of the reason that I got it. Yeah, you fight all for that. Mm. Um, and it was about a lead singer of a band who are kind of heavy, um, who has recently come out as male to female, and it was really awesome because they were using her chosen name all the way through and female pronouns. But I was just like, Crawr! and Ali came in. Ali, Ali there, there, what? Go. Yeah. yeah. Although there was an article I read about the same band member which used her birth name in the title and used male pronouns all the way through, which was just ridiculous. Like, it's, I suppose, it would kind of be understandable if, uh, like, in the, in, like, the beginning sentence or so, you just said about how previously the reverse is now transitioning to this, and then you female pronouns all the way through. That's, like, I mean, to clarify for some people that might not get it or something, just would not, ugh, it's just... This is so bad hard! Um, it is a newspaper in the UK um, called The Sun, which is not reliable and is full of boobs, so don't ever read it. Um, but there was an article in there about the youngest person to ever come out as trans in the UK been diagnosed with gender dysphoria at, at a young age and they were male to female. And through this entire article, they were referring to her as her birth name. And male pronouns, except for a little box in the corner, which yeah. is like five lines, which actually used female pronouns. Yeah. And me and Ali were reading this, just like we sort of got halfway through, and we're just like, rage. <laughs> so I handed it to us, just like, hey, this will be relevant to you, trans stuff. And we were like, yeah. oh, trans stuff in the news. And then we were just like, as we said in the first time that we said this, I think that the fact that the media uses words like tranny and hishi, and also I was watching Eurovision. Which, if you don't know what it is, basically it's Europe put in really cheesy pop music and everyone enters a song. Um, so I was watching this, and there was some. There was a woman from Sweden who I think was a cis female anyway. Yeah. Um, was giving the results, and the host, like the over voice okay. person of the UK, was going, "Oh, is that even a woman? There's some manly." Ugh. And I was like, "What?" It's just ridiculous because it kind of adds to the whole it's just a phase thing because it's like joke. it's a joke, it's a laugh, they're just in drag all the time. It's not a real thing. It is a real thing because it's a medical medical condition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of feel that the media is kind of like when older people are trans or come out as trans or are just living day-to-day -day life as a trans person and someone recognises them are not trans it's almost as if it's like oh that's really weird why, why yeah stay away from me and my children like as Jacoby yeah, said fun. about the um Sonny and Cher's um son who was who is uh, female to male went on Dancing with the Stars there were loads of people like oh my kids aren't watching that they've got to stay away from that tranny blah 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 and I was just like uh -huh. Oh, I've got to stay away from that diversity. God! I might not develop true ignorance. Exactly. I don't want learning shit about people being different. It's crazy. God damn that. So, it's just things like that. Like, the more the media are kind of like using trans people as kind of a cheap laugh or a joke and are just using the wrong pronouns all the time, creating more and more ignorance around the subject, then it's just going to get a hell of a lot worse. So, 
it's kind of when young people come out of trans, they're like, oh, that's really nice, they've come out. It's oh, good for you. It's the good for you. It's like, it's a phase, and I'm just okay. like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of young people who are trans, it's a phase, and old people that are trans, they've lost their marbles, and it's really weird. That's what I don't like. That seems to be the general perception of it. Um, but as you were saying just now, bad publicity is better than no publicity in a way because at least it means that people are talking about it and accepting that it actually happens and then if people are talking about it they might want to know more about it and then they might end up hearing you know how it really is and hopefully their opinions will be changed or yeah um <laughs> i didn't really know like i knew that uh people got beaten up because you wouldn't like the fact that they were gay and bisexual and things like that and I knew a bit about trans but not to the extent that I have found out since I've started using Tumblr um, yeah, We live in an area which is you can sort of sense the sort of uncomfortableness and the tab of hostility towards things And people things, will, will but say things but they won't go like Ah, fuck. It's, well, kind of, it's not physical, it's like sort of psychological We live in a fairly middle class <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> area. Of like, I just sort of like look at you a bit weirdly and sort of edge away that is like the and way to complex in Yeah, <laughs> that is the way. Um, which kind of is good in a way because it means that people Don't aren't going to be shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. However, it's bad because it means they're not going to confront me about it, which means that I can't then tell them about it. Because if a woman gives me a weird look and I turn around to her and go, is it because I'm trans? Do you want to know more about it? Just be like, just be like <laughs> they started verbally attacking me and squared up to me and all being aggressive and I'm like, no, I just want to, I just want to teach you things. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Let and you know about me. I just want to let you know that I'm a human and I'm not going to bite your face off or something weird. Yeah, I feel that as the media evolves and gets used to not making transphobic gags as more trans people speak up and talk about it, which is what's happening, I feel the general public consensus will change in the same way that it did kind of towards homophobia and things like that. Obviously, it's not complete with homophobia. So, yeah, I think at the moment it's a fairly negative thing that people see trans people as they're weird and they're going through phases. However, I feel that as the media slowly starts to evolve, as it is, I'm seeing more and more good representations of trans people, then I feel the general public will swiftly follow. Well, that's what happens in the UK. Obviously, America is quite different. People are very opinionated in America. Rick Santorum, is it? Oh, God. Oh. I, wanna, I feel sorry for your politicians, like, other than Barack Obama, who I'm incredibly jealous well, of and would like to there. steal over here, yeah. the rest of them just seem like complete, ignorant, arrogant homophobes, mm. which I'm sure they're not, I'm sure some I of them are that's lovely. That's usually the way with politicians that, like, the people that are in charge of making decisions usually don't know that much about the things they make decisions about. Mm. Much. But, you know... I know it's different in America, but that's probably what will happen over here in the good old UK, and hopefully it will fly across the pond. You don't know. Okay, um, we'll see you. You'll see them Monday. Yes. I'll see you next. Will. I'll see you next Thursday, guys. Later.